spirits do not harm. Hear the words spoken from our mouths. On the next Petroglyphs in the Sky UFO show, we will be talking about the recent jellyfish UFO sightings that has been filmed in all parts of the world that has been sweeping the internet lately. I first discovered this new type of UFO in 2005 while investigating the Phoenix Lights in my own hometown that was connected to the Native American rock drawings on the mountains around Phoenix. My discovery of these new types of beings is what helped the pilot for the UFO Hunter Show and Ancient Aliens TV series. Then in 2007, while being on the UFO Hunter Show called Arizona Lights, we talked about these beings connected to the 1,000-year-old rock art, but being over 15 years ahead of other Skywatchers, they had told me that the public wasn't ready for this type of information yet, but I knew one day the public will see them for, these, see them for themselves. Well, it took longer than what I expected, and now here we are today, as the public is now seeing what I had discovered years ago. Are these crafts or something else? What does history rock art tell us? Is this new jellyfish sighting real or could it possibly be something else? With my years of experience on these things, we will be discussing on what to look for to make sure what's real and what's not. Only here on the Ruku Paranormal Family channel where you will see this exciting show along with other great paranormal shows. I'll see you there. That's the story I'm getting all over this mountain here. Um, there's a thousand years of history that has been lost um, in history that um, either purposely has been erased or just people have just forgotten. What you choose to believe about Jeff Woolwine and his petroglyph theories is entirely up to you. And whether he's a madman or a genius, I guess no one can say. <laughs>